a saddle being slapped by a two by four. Partially set up by the right uppercut, which seemed to have stunned Johnson about seven or eight seconds before. And of course, truly great finishers, when they have a man in trouble, they remember to go to the body. Mosley is in that category. Yes, he is. Nice combination by Johnson. You heard Eddie Mustafa Muhammad between rounds saying, Golden, you got to go fight the man. And Johnson has listened to his corner as he comes out more aggressively in round four. I thought the look on Johnson's no face when he was listening in his corner was saying, easier said than done. Yeah, the look of resignation. That's, I, I noticed exactly the same thing. But he's brave and willing. Harold, how do you have it through three? Jim, three to nothing, 30 to 25, Sugar Shane Mosley. I made a beautiful job at Mosley so far. He looks excellent. Beautiful ring center, slip the way he steps to the side. And you gotta love that double left hook that he knocked him down twice with. In other words, he'll throw two left hooks before he pulls his arm back. That third round, 10 to seven because of the Two knockdowns. Flooding right hand from Mosley. To the body. Another left to the body, and Golden Johnson in trouble again as he tries to clamp Mosley's arm and now comes back with punches of his own. Brave performance by Golden Johnson. But his punches are so Great. much slower than Shane Mosley's punches. You can see the difference in talent in there. Well, you're going to see the difference in talent against most opponents at 135 pounds when Shane Mosley is in the ring. He really loves to punch to the body. Some fighters don't learn that until they're way, way further advanced in their career. And he's landing at a fearsome rate upstairs as the result of all the body punches. Golden Johnson just doesn't know where to defend himself because Mosley's coming from all angles with hard punches. Blistering right hand by Sugar Shane. Right to the body. And to Johnson's credit, he's still pegging, still trying. Oh, and lands an uppercut. Don't work out of it. Work out of it. Mosley was dispensing with defense there for a second, and Golden Johnson got a free shot with that right uppercut. You know, Golden Johnson's stature went up in that very close loss to, to Gardona. And no matter what happens here, he's still showing that he's a formidable fighter. He's a real professional prize fighter. Putting some contact on Mosley, even while being largely outclassed. Spirits up, trying to say, look, you're still in the fight. He's hit you his best shots. You're still here. You got a chance. Well, you know, that's one of the oldest strategies of boxing. Fighting in the back of his corner and he's dead tired and he sits down. As soon as he sits down, his trainer says, he's tired as anything. <laughs> well, Jack Mosley told uh, Shane not to take the round off, but he said, uh, don't work as hard, don't throw as many power punches. Thought that boxing knows exactly what he's doing. In the last two rounds, rounds three and four, Mosley threw more than 150 power punches and landed close to 90 of them. So he did a lot of work offensively in those two rounds. Roy Jones is on record as saying that it takes just as much out of you to throw a power punch as it does to take one. There's that southpaw stance again where he threw a straight left hand, staying in the southpaw stance for the moment. You think he sees something there that, that he can do, or is well, it just every time he switches southpaw, he's been very effective. But you have to do that in a, lot, a lot in the gym. You must practice that in the gym. Landed a right uppercut, and now a hard left hand across the top for Mosley. It would be another feather in his cap if he managed to finish Johnson out of the southpaw stance. But now he goes back conventional. He got nailed with a pretty good right hand when he landed that left hook, Jim. Eddie Mustafa Muhammad working with Golden Johnson for the first time tonight. This, they've trained together for weeks, obviously, but this is their first bout together. Asking his fighter to come up the middle with the attack, like that. 
Look at that double uppercut by Mosley. He's inventing punches in there. Great footwork to change the punching angle by Mosley, and he comes back with three landed power shots. One of the things Shane Mosley does brilliantly, stepping around to find punching room. Nailed with a pretty good left jab that time by Johnson. You know, even if he's taking a little bit off for this round, Gil, he's still impressive in what else he does. Oh, he did, he did, did things in this round that I very seldom ever seen. He changes direction. advantage and the opportunity he'll just let go like a brawler and mosley who had been throwing upward of 75 punches per round brought it down to only 56 attempted blows in that last round following his father's instructions to get it a little bit under control and get a little rest when you say he's a brawler he's what i would call a thinking brawler because he's giving you the, the idea he's just letting it all hang out but in the meanwhile he's moving one way or the other getting the angle on you I don't know if this is the first time you've seen him in person or not, Gil, but you seem very impressed by him as all of us have been. I'm very, very impressed by him. He's showing all sorts of talent in this ring. But also a kind of fighting spirit. It's not just textbook talent. I think I'm looking at a fight back in the 40s right now, Larry. That's you, what it looks you like. You compare him to the best lightweights you've seen. Well, he looks pretty darn good to me right now. Another 20 fights or so, <laughs> then we'll see. And as you look around the pound-for-pound pound landscape, Gil, with Jones, De La Hoya, Cuarte, Trinidad, Evander Holyfield, the various other top fighters in the sport, Ricardo Lopez, where do you put Mosley? Well, I think he has the same curse on him right now that Roy Jones has. There just isn't that great opposition out there of fights that are going to be contests for him. He's so far above the... The average guy. He's in there with a pretty tough guy right now. He's, he's just more or less having a good time. One lightweight who has called out Mosley and definitely wants a match with him. Ivan Robinson, two-time conqueror of Arturo Gatti. Oh, there you go. Larry will talk later about some of the other lightweights who might be on the horizon for Shane. Oh, and too much. to the body, Mosley. Break, no question. Clean break, step back. Johnson's still bouncing on his toes. Brave, committed performance by Golden Johnson. Coming off a similarly brave, committed performance against Israel Pito Cardona. Well, except that he's digging a whole, very deep hole for himself in this fight. With Cardona, the fight was up in the air until the last round. Well, last Cardona round. doesn't have the kinds of skills that Shane Mosley has. No question about that. Who does in, this, in that weight class? I think Ivan Robinson has some real skills. Ivan Robinson doesn't have the punching power or strength 